The Gambia Chamber of Commerce and Industry, GCCI, on Friday organizes a press conference to update the public about their upcoming election. This year's election coincides with the AGM of the chambers. The AGM is GCCI's highest decision-making assembly, which takes place every three years. The election is set to take place on the 2nd of September 2022 at Sadao Kairaba Jawara Conference Center. Speaking to the media, Abdullahi Toure, Chairman Advisory Board for the election, explains the processes for the election. The notice period that is required for these elections to be held has already been issued. Statutorily, it should be 21 days. And that has already been issued and published in all the respective uh, newspapers. We welcome another CEO, Mr. Keba Njai, Ambassador Keba Njai, who is also a member of the advisory board. Now, the positions that are going to be contested for are as follows. The president, the vice president, the treasurer, and five and, <clears throat> and additional members. Now, these additional members should come from these various sectors, from tourism, construction, and real estate, from large employers, that is those institutions employing more than, having more than 100 employees. And how do we verify that? We use the list from the Social Security Housing Finance Corporation. We also have a member representing agriculture, agri agro-industry, manufacturers, and exporters. Now, we also have youth representation, and youth representation is somebody within the age bracket of no more than 35 years old. We also believe that it is important to have affirmative action. So in the constitution, 30% of the members of the executive must be, from, must be women. And that is something that we take very great pride in, uh, in terms of it being institu institutionalized within the framework of the GCCI. Chairman Ture Foda gives the procedure and eligibility for the election. Now the election procedures, these are very, very important as, as Meritral mentioned. What we want to do is to ensure the transparency, integrity, and fair play of the elections. Now election procedures are as follows. To be, elect, to be eligible for election to the board of directors, a candidate must be must be a fully paid off member of the chamber and must not have been in areas on their annual su subscription fees within the three years prior to the date of the elections. Furthermore, any candidate nominated by a company must present their employer's audited financial statements and in the case of an individual, a tax clearance for the same period will suffice. Any member who wishes to contest in the election for the office of the president of the GCCI, vice president and treasurer of the board of directors shall do so by completing a prescribed nomination form supported by the endorsement of five paid up, paid up members of the chamber. So if you, your nomination as president, vice president as, and, and treasurer must have the endorsement of five members. For ordinary members, all you require is a, somebody to make your nomination. That should, that should suffice. The GCCI was founded in 1967 as a result of the mega between the Gambia Employers Organization and the Batos Chamber. It is a voluntary, non-for-profit private sector organization whose membership is made up of companies from all sectors of the Gambian business community, that is trade and commerce, agriculture, industry, tourism, transport, telecom service, finance and banking. Reporting for Kerfadu, I am Landin Sise. <music>